April 21st, 8, 10 p.m. It's amazing how quickly the location of that ball of light changes just within a matter of a couple of days. Um, yeah, we got the blue skies around us today, so-called blue skies. A lot more greener out here, as you can see. <laughs> a lot more foliage coming on. Uh, we got a uh, kitty cat waiting. Hi, Sly. How we doing this morning? Huh, buddy? Hi. Are you hungry? Yeah, I seen you up here, so here we go. Come on, buddy. Here you go. Here we go, come on. We can scatter around today. There, there you go, buddy. Yeah, okay. So yeah, um, <laughs> here pretty soon, I'll be uh, making my way through a lot of briars and brambles. But I think, actually, we have a pretty well-defined path now. Uh, the cats even <laughs> have their own path. You can kind of vaguely see it here. Um, oh, hey, Minnow. Morning. Hi. Now be nice, okay? Wow. Oh, well, Minnow sure showed up quite early. And with Minnow... Uh, we should have a tight and buggy not too far behind. Or at least that used to be the case. Well, yeah. Uh, let's go on over here. And look at this big old patch. Well, we got all kinds of different, all kinds of different stuff that's coming up. Very nice to see. Very, very nice to see. All right, well, I'm not going to hang around up here today, even though I know uh, yeah, it won't be long for more of the cats to show up, and already I am running low on cat food. I'll probably end up uh, resorting to doing some cooking later on today to prep up for tomorrow and possibly the next day. Having these cats uh, eating throughout the day, you know, I, I have to uh, plan, plan out a lot because I don't have a whole lot of storage space and and I don't like to have big bags of cat food all over the place and all that nonsense. I'm not a cat owner. <laughs> I'm just helping these guys out. That's all. And, boy, I'd like, I sure would like to wander over that way, but uh, we also have wild daffodils coming on. Um, you're okay. You're okay. You got us a uh, uh, Robin bouncing around back here someplace. Not sure exactly where it went. All right. So, anyways, kind of hard telling what this day will bring. So. Oh, a lot of birds starting to starting to chirp. Yeah, robins are kicking off big time. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and cut this off. Let's go. Let's before I do. We'll see you later, guys. Have a good day. All right, we're gonna walk back out here and just for a moment. Just uh, out of curiosity's sake, 
and then kind of wander out here to where it's a little bit more visible here and I want to turn down the lighting and that ball of light now I noticed um, oh <laughs> I'll just say I just noticed on another channel last night that uh, the rings had made an appearance uh, I believe that was up north I think that might have been uh, it was either uh, Tamarack or, or um, Lake Superior Skywatch or uh, one of the two they, they got uh, some of the rings and I, I don't know I'm kind of got the feeling that could be in store for us today uh, very milky looking here to go ahead and So yeah, we got you know, like I said, we got the blueness around here, or, or appears to be blue. But you go over in this direction, and it's all just that milky white, and that tells me that even though it appears to be blue, it is not. And I believe that. Wherever you go, it does not matter. The skies are milk today, regardless of how blue they might look. And already the blueness seems to be fading now. It seems to be going more towards that, that whitish color. So I'm going to, yeah, I'll keep my eyes open today and we'll go from there. But otherwise, We'll see you back here once again on this flip side. Take care.